What's going on guys, 24-7 Tech here. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the Dell XPS 13 2020 version and the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 13 inch. In this video, we'll be going over six different categories and uh, there's the categories that I think makes up a laptop. We'll be giving each laptop a point if they win the category or if it's a tie, we'll give both of them a point. And at the end, we'll tally up all the points and see who wins this comparison. And I'll also give some of my feedback on which laptop I think is better. So stay tuned for an awesome video. Please subscribe down below guys. Each subscriber makes a difference. I need all the help that I can get. I think I have a lot of potential to grow and you guys need to be the people to subscribe to my channel. And I also make amazing tech videos, so that's an additional perk. Um, and also, while you're at it, go check out my Twitter and Instagram. Um, here's Twitter and Instagram handles right here. And uh, I post behind the scenes, I post other updates, some tech opinions, news, all of that sort of stuff on there. So it's like more content for you guys. And speaking of more content, go read my articles that I make on Medium. The link to get to my articles is medium.com slash at 247tech. And uh, you can read all the awesome articles I have. I have a, quite a few articles already uploaded and I always create articles. And uh, that's extra content for you guys, but uh, let's get on with the video now. Let's talk about the design of these two laptops. So the XPS 13 2020 has a night and day better design than the 2019 one. I think I made this comparison probably last year and uh, during the summertime and the design was just, I didn't like it. I absolutely hated the XPS design for quite a few years now, but this year they took cues from the two in one XPS and it looks really sharp. Um, however, nonetheless, even though Dell has, you know, those, uh, the webcam on the top, the, the keyboard that extends to the edges, bigger trackpad, all that stuff, the Surface Laptop 3, in my opinion, maybe except for the MacBook, has the best design in the laptop. That Alcantara keyboard compare, uh, combined with that all aluminum chassis is just, oh wow, it's amazing. And the color options as well are really intriguing. I mean, they're amazing color options in my opinion, but they're not the classic, you know, black, white, and gold or something. There's blue, you got red, and it's, it's really cool. And the Surface Laptop 3, I mean, for a couple of years now, Microsoft has really taken a lot of cues from Apple and it's just the small things that really make it great. Like that magnetic connector to charge it. I mean, it's not, you don't need it, but it's just a really cool thing to have. And that one hand lift up, it's those small things that really make a great design. And the winner of this category is the Surface Laptop 3. Let's talk about the display on both of these laptops. Um, the Dell XPS 13 has actually two options. The Surface Laptop 3 only has one. Uh, the Surface Laptop 3 has a 2256 by 1504 display resolution. So it's 1440p, it's a pretty good display. Um, it's got a standard touchscreen and I really like it. The Surface Book 3 display is even better. It's a 3000 by 2000 display. But the main thing I like about the Microsoft displays are it's a three by two aspect ratio. Um, I personally use a MacBook and that has a 16 by 10. And this, this new 2020 XPS 13 also introduces a new 16 by 10 aspect ratio for the display which makes the laptop look so much better. And for content consumption, it's just night and day better. MacBooks have had this for a while and uh, Dell is getting onto the uh, different aspect ratio train right now. But the display has, there's two options, the 1080p one and the 4K option. You have to upgrade for the 4K option. It's a pretty beefy upgrade as well. And the touchscreen is also not standard. But if you do get the 4K option, it is really, really nice. I mean, for video editors, for photo editors, for gamers, it's an amazing display. However, there is one side uh, downside of this, which I will talk about later in the video. But the 4K display on this laptop is really good. And uh, the Surface Laptop 3 doesn't come close to it. However, it's much better than the 1080p one. The 1080p one is really lacking. But if you do spend the extra money for the 4K one, it's miles better than the Surface Laptop 3. So the winner of this category is the Dell XPS 13. Let's talk about the performance of both of these laptops. Um, straight out the bat, the Dell XPS 13 and the Surface Laptop 3 both have amazing CPUs. They come at the baseline with quad core i5 processors and you can upgrade to the i7 chips. So the CPUs are literally neck and neck. It's about the same. It's the same as, you know, what you would expect from a expensive Ultrabook. And uh, you'd probably find the same in a MacBook Pro or maybe a little better in those actually, but they're more expensive. Um, to, let's talk about the graphics side of these though. Um, as a video editor, I know the power of graphics. It gets overlooked by a lot of people. CPUs always the first thing that they talk about, but the graphics are a really important thing if you're doing anything like app development or uh, gaming or you're doing 
video editing like I do, photo editing, graphics are a really important thing, CPU is as well, but the GPU on the Dell XPS 13, the base model, is Intel UHD graphics, which is pretty bad, I mean, it's it's not a good look for Dell, and to get those Iris Plus graphics, which are decent, you know, decent graphics, um, you have to spend $1,400, for the SPS 13, whereas the Surface Laptop 3 has it from the base model. It's $1,000 for the base Surface Laptop 3, and it's got Iris Plus the whole lineup throughout. That's probably the theme we've seen from a lot of Ultrabooks at this price range. Iris Plus is almost like a standard thing at this point, but Intel's UHD graphics are a real step down, and it makes a huge difference from UHD to Iris Plus. So when you're buying a base model XPS 13, make sure you have that in mind. So make sure you don't do any graphics work. I'd recommend buying the $1,400 model, but we'll get to that in the price and value section of this video. However, the winner is the Surface Laptop 3. And uh, as I said, the CPU is not connect, the GPU. It's just that Dell doesn't offer Iris Plus for all prices. Now we're gonna get to the easiest category, in my opinion, uh, the keyboard and the trackpad. Both of them are amazing. I really like this uh, like scissor style mechanism on the Surface and what Dell calls the Maglev keyboard. Um, they're both really nice. They don't have way too much key travel or they don't have really tiny amount of key travel like the butterfly keyboard. And it's honestly amazing. It feels like the magic keyboard that uh, Apple has on their MacBook Pros. And they're really solid keyboards. They don't fail as much like the butterfly keyboards. And uh, the trackpads also, both of them run Windows Precision drivers, and they are, uh, both of them are also bigger for their new model. Um, if you see here, I'm gonna show on my screen, the 2019 XPS 13's trackpad was smaller than the 2020 XPS 13's. Same with the Surface Laptop 2 compared to the Surface Laptop 3. They're sizably, it's a big difference, and now I really like the size. I think it's perfect. It's not too big, not too small, and uh, it's this category, uh, the winner is both of them. It's a tie, they both get a point, because uh, both of them are honestly excellent. Let's talk about the battery life of both of these machines. Now, if you guys remember earlier in the video, I said there was a downside of having that 4K display. Well, that's the battery life. Uh, you're, you're literally having four times the amount of pixels in a 4K display compared to a 1080p one, and Dell's putting about the same size battery in both of them. So how are you gonna expect the uh, Dell XPS 13 4K uh, uh, version to get the same battery life as the 1080p one? It's just not feasible. So it gets around six to seven hours of battery life, which is pathetic, uh, especially because you're paying a lot of money for this 4K display. It's like a $400 upgrade. And the 1080p one gets around 10 to 12 hours. It's pretty good. The Surface Laptop 3 also gets, uh, in my usage, I get even more actually, get around 12 to 13 hours. Um, which is even better than the XPS 13, but that's not a big deal. You know, that, that one or two hours of a gap, but that six to seven hours in that 4K display is really bad. So it's a trade-off. Do you want the great display or do you want the great battery life? If you're buying an XPS 13, you're buying it for that size, that portability. So you're not gonna be plugged in with your laptop the whole day, but if you are that type of person, you could go with a 4K display, but I'd recommend the 1080p, you get much better battery life. It'll be good in the long run, especially as the battery deteriorates. You may, you might be looking at like four to five hours a couple years down the road. So the winner of this category is the Surface Laptop 3. Let's talk about the price and value of these laptops. So as I said before, if you're buying an XPS 13, at least spec it to $1,400. Not that I, you know, I want you to spend more money or something. It's just that the graphics on the $1,000 variant or the $1,100, $1,200, I mean, these configurations change every day. Dell, you really got to baseline some things. It's annoying for tech reviewers like me and other people because we don't really know the prices. If you go to Dell.com today and you look at a month later, it's going to be different. I guarantee you that. Um, but today, $1,400 will get you 16 gigabytes of RAM, a quad core i7, 256 gigabytes of uh, SSD, and uh, I Intel Iris Plus graphics. There are some unnecessary upgrades here. You don't need the i7, you don't need the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Those are just extra upgrades, which most people don't really need, but just to get that graphics, you need to spec up to that model. Um, with the Surface Laptop 3, the same exact configuration will cost you $1599, but keep in mind, if you add the touchscreen display for the XPS and then you add the white color, which the Surface has all color options, um, you have to pay $50 extra for the white option, which I love the white option. So you're looking at $1499. $100 price difference is not much. 
the perk that you get with the Microsoft Surface laptop is that you can buy that thousand or the thirteen hundred dollar model that they offer and you get that Iris Plus graphics. You don't need to you don't need to spend extra money for the i7, which won't give you much better performance, or you don't need to spend extra money for that 16 gigs of RAM, which you might not be needing and you might not use it. So Surface has a little more, you know, leeway with the options and Dell just has way too many configurations. But I'd say this category is a tie because, you know, Dell still has a pretty competitive price. If you want higher end laptop, it's just if you want a baseline, the Surface is better. So the winner, both of these uh, laptops get a point for the price and value category. Okay, let's end this video. Uh, the Dell XPS 13 scored three points. It won one category and it tied two. It won the display category and it tied the uh, keyboard and trackpad in the price and value category. Uh, the Surface Laptop 3 had five points. It won three categories and tied two. Tied the same categories and it won the design, the battery life, and the performance categories, which uh, five beats three. The Surface Laptop 3 won the technical comparison, but I'll give my own thoughts and you know opinion on this. I use the Surface Laptop 3. I've had it for uh, six or seven months now. I think I bought it in November of last year. And it is really great. It's an amazing laptop. Um, I personally recommend it. I think it's the best laptop out on the market right now. Um, if you don't need, you know, that high storage configurations or an i7 processor, you still get really good uh, CPU performance, GPU performance, eight gigabytes of RAM, an amazing design for literally a thousand dollars, which is insane that Microsoft can pack that much value into one computer. And I honestly think the Surface is the best laptop out today. However, the XPS is definitely top three, top five category. Um, I think that the MacBook, Surface, and XPS are the three laptops that any person who is spending a thousand to two thousand dollars should be looking at because they are the laptops that, you know, are really great. And the XPS, if you don't like the Surface, the XPS is hands down the best Windows laptop if we're not counting Surface, as I said before. So, yeah, it's your choice. I recommend the Surface. If you don't like it, go for the XPS. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. I need all the support I can get, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.